Welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. Today we have some great lifestyle stories to tell you from a laundry room makeover all the way to kitchen help. Want to learn another language? You don't have to go to school. It can all be done at your own pace, right in the comfort of your own home. Some interesting technology makes learning more effective and efficient. And maybe you're a home-based business starting to take off and you need a little help with establishing your company identity. Well, help is on the way, and it's coming from a familiar name to just about anybody in the business. Also, we have some new concepts in roofing that contribute to a more attractive and more efficient home. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. Important to the well-being of any house, making sure the roof is in good condition. The alternative, I'm telling you, it's not pleasant otherwise. No, no one wants a roofing disaster, but with many homeowners realizing they will be living where they are for longer than anticipated, proper care and upgrades to a house are more than worthwhile. That's right. With the whole story, here's Patricia Stark. Money is tight, and the real estate market is still in a slump. That's why lots of Americans are staying in their homes longer than they ever thought they would. So a home is an important investment. One essential factor that determines your home's value is the roof. It protects your family and belongings from the elements, and it contributes to your home's curb appeal. But your roof needs TLC from time to time, and if you don't do repairs right, it can cost you dearly. Designing Spaces is in Randolph, New Jersey today with Joanne Liebler, the former co-host of Home Time on PBS, to talk to us about roofing. Welcome to the show, Joanne. Well, thank you so much, Patricia. You know, for the last five years or so, I've been working with GAF, which is North America's largest roofing manufacturer, to help educate homeowners about how to make the best roofing decision. Now, I have heard of a lot of horror stories oh, yeah. about bad roofing jobs over the years. How can we avoid things like that? Basically, people need to think of four key things when they're buying a new roof. First, pick the right shingle one that's gonna protect and increase the resale value of the home. And second, make sure the contractor installs a complete roofing system. Next, choose the right warranty to protect your investment. And finally, and boy, this is probably the most important thing, choose the right contractor. You can do everything else right, but if you choose the wrong contractor, you could have a real disaster. Okay, now that's a lot to digest. Can you walk us through each step? Sure, well, we'll start with the shingles, and there are three types. Three tab shingles, like the Royal Sovereign, these have been around the longest, give you a very basic look, and if you're on a budget, these are the way to go. Then there are architectural shingles, like the Timberline shingle with an enhanced appearance, which you see on a lot of homes, including this one. In fact, it's by far the most popular brand. And finally, there are lifetime designer shingles, like the Camelot, really dresses up a home and adds to its curb appeal. Lifetime designer shingles are for people who want to invest most in their home's beauty and curb appeal. They come in a variety of styles and colors to suit just about any taste, and they really make any house stand out. Oh, and plus, they come with a lifetime limited warranty. Okay, once we make a decision about the shingles, then what's next? Yes, a new roof is more than just nailing on the shingles. It's actually a system of components that work together to protect your home. Now, here's what that system includes roof deck protection. Now the roof deck is the plywood that's underneath the shingles. Now the best roof deck protection breathes to help let moisture escape and prolong the life of your roof deck. Waterproof leak barriers, these seal the vulnerable areas of the roof like eaves and valleys and very importantly attic ventilation. And finally a roof will never look completely finished unless it has the right ridge cap. And I always suggest that the homeowners use an integrated system from one manufacturer. And that way, if there's a problem, you won't have any finger pointing by different manufacturers. Okay, that makes sense. But you mentioned attic ventilation. What does that have to do with installing a new roof? A lot. Proper attic ventilation is critical for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, it can impact the longevity of your new roof. What happens is that during the summer, all the heat and the humidity can get trapped in the attic. And if it can't breathe or ventilate, it can literally fry your shingles, not to mention raise your energy bills. 
Well, not only that, too much humidity can cause mold and mildew problems, which can affect your health. And secondly, in the winter, moisture from inside your home can get trapped in the attic. And that can cause problems with your roofing system and also soak your insulation and raise your energy bills. By the way, every shingle manufacturer specifies that you have adequate attic ventilation as part of the roofing system. So ventilation is absolutely critical. And you want to make sure that your contractor is up on all these details because many of them aren't. In fact, if you have any problems because of poor ventilation, they're not covered under the warranty. I never knew how much science went into a roofing system, but what about warranties? What do we need to know about those? Well, the important thing with warranties is that you have to look beyond just the warranty that's on the shingle. Some manufacturers have developed enhanced warranties that provide better and longer protection, and not just on the shingles, but on the entire roofing system. Now, all these warranties cover against defects in the materials, but if there's a problem with the installation, you have to rely on the contractor to come back and fix his work. Well, that's why one manufacturer, GAF, came out with a warranty that covers not just the materials, but the contractor's workmanship as well. So even if the contractor's out of business, GAF will fix the problem. They even send out a specially trained factory inspector to review the installation of the roof. So really, what difference does it make who fixes the problem? Well, because your roof is expected to last for decades, right? But up to 80% of roofing contractors are out of business within five years. 80% in five yep. years. Yep, pretty wild. Wow. Huh? So in other words, if you're 10 years down the road and some sort of problem develops, you're on your own. Well, and the other thing to do is make sure that you choose the right contractor in the first place. Now remember, you can pick the best materials, but if they're not installed right, you're in for a load of trouble. So then how do we go about finding a reliable roofing contractor? I mean, do we look through the yellow pages, ask friends? You know, most of us only install a roof maybe once or twice in our entire lifetime. So this is a very challenging and big decision because we're talking about your home. I've found that your safest option is to look for a contractor who's been certified by the roofing manufacturer to install their products. Now, usually those contractors are going to be more familiar with the products and how to install them correctly and may have even received specialized training from the manufacturer. For example, GAF was the first to offer a certified contractor program for residential roofing. And their master elite contractors have been pre-screened to meet some pretty tough requirements so that they're at the top 3% in the business. Well, Joanne, I think that we've learned today that getting a new roof is a heck of a lot more involved than just hammering some shingles onto the top of your house. Thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate it. Thank you. And if you'd like to watch this segment again, just log on to our website at designingspaces.tv. And there you'll also find a link to the GAF website. For Designing Spaces, I'm Patricia Stark, and we will see you next time. You know, there's so much more we could do, but we're going to have to save it for another show. That's because we're out of time. That's right. More great topics for your home and lifestyle are being lined up as we speak. You won't want to miss it. This is Designing Spaces. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.